Hey guys, it's Dylan. Welcome back to Basement Craft Season 2. For this video, I decided to try something I've only tried once before and failed sort of miserably at. Mostly due to the fact that I was using the wrong version of Minecraft. Oops. Most of the experienced players on Basement Craft, like Big Pork Chop and Dad and Cat, have already built some rather elaborate farms, which provide a wealth of resources and experience points needed for enchanting and crafting some of the most useful items in Minecraft. And while I've had the game for about 10 years, I only got around to doing a proper survival playthrough and beat the game sometime in the last two. This is to say I'm not new to the game at all, but I'm a massive noob when it comes to doing things efficiently in survival mode. Now that I've become a small-time Minecraft YouTuber, it's pretty clear that I can't take it slow like I have in the past, especially where enchanting and resource gathering is concerned. And since I'm not aware of any public farms on Basement Craft at the time of writing this script, I decided to go ahead and build one. I had OBS recording in the background, but I think Replay Mod did a much better job of capturing the process, so I hope you enjoy this. If you do, please leave a like and let me know in the comments what kind of Minecraft farms you like or have tried before. And if you want to see even more Basement Craft content, get subscribed, not just to myself, but to all of the Basement Craft creator channels linked down below. Don't forget to follow us all on Twitch as well, where most of the action happens. And go check out Voltrox's YouTube channel. I'll have their tutorial for this farm linked in the description as well. I also want to thank Kyle Blaine for his tutorial on how to use Replay Mod. I could not have made this video without your help. Thank you so much. So at this point in the build, you can sort of see things are starting to take shape. The platforms I'm building right now will serve as the spawn room, and the mobs will eventually fall into the trenches, which will have water flowing through them. It'll all make much more sense later. And even though this is supposed to be an early game farm, you may have noticed by now that I am not in the early game. I'm fully kitted out with an elytra, diamond armor, and I'm building this out of deep slate tile blocks. The reason for the deep slate is that the tutorial calls for cobblestone, but that ship sailed a long time ago. I'm of the opinion that bricks look better than cobblestone, especially in default Minecraft but if I had an HD texture pack, it might look better. This was what I went with anyway, and I think tiles look universally better than cobbled anything. So this was the point in the tutorial that I started to get a little confused. It says to build the roof now instead of putting the water in the trenches, and I have a shader pack on that makes water almost invisible in the dark. But just in case the tutorial was written in that order for any particular reason, I went with it and I lit up the inside before putting up the roof. And here, you can see me hopping over the trenches quite a bit. I had to be really careful at this point because if I got stuck in the trenches, I'd have to break out with my pickaxe or else risk dying of fall damage or flying into the wall too fast with my elytra. For reasons I prefer not to disclose, I don't have protection for on my armor. Don't ask, don't tell. So you might be asking me now, Dylan, how exactly are the mobs supposed to fall in? Well, that's where the trapdoors come in. For some reason, the game measures them as a full block for NPC and mob pathfinding even when they're open. So if you position them at the top layer and open them, Nothing should spawn inside that has the ability to open or close trap doors. So they're counted as a full block. And mobs will just walk right over the trenches and fall in. I decided to use spruce for these trap doors, mostly because that was the only large tree type I could plant at the time. I found a small island off the coast of my home to plant it on because, be honest, who wants to grow a giant spruce tree in the middle of the jungle and ruin the grass? And here, I'm finally putting the water in. It was very hard to see what I was doing because of the shader, but it felt good to finally be almost done. Except I wasn't. The problem here is that mobs can still spawn all around the farm simply due to the proximity to the player. So even when I removed my torches and sealed up the room, I still wasn't quite finished. I still had to build up to 80 blocks above the farm and start the AFK room. 
Theoretically, you sit here and mobs can only spawn inside the farm because of the distance between the ground and the player. So here, I found just the right spot to start my scaffolding, and I built it up to 80 blocks high. After I was done recording, I replaced the scaffolding with an elevator to make the farm more accessible, and surrounded the room with glass. I spent extra time up here to try and think of a design for the AFK room, but I was mentally drained after this, and because of some IRL stress. So I left that for another time, and boy am I glad I did. The satisfaction of seeing it work gave me the motivation to improve upon it later, and soon showed it off to Josh of the Dad and Cat channel, and Rusty of the Rusty Green channel. But first, let's see how well this thing works. Looks pretty good. Let's roll the highlights. What is this? <laughs> um, so the entrance isn't done yet, but the scaffolding uh, serves its purpose for now. Uh, that's an AFK farm. And what are we going for here? Um, uh, anything, really. Skeletons. I even got a witch in here once. <laughs> anything, any, any uh, dark land based uh, mobs, basically. Yeah, pretty much. And by dark, I mean ones that spawn when there's not light. Yeah. Okay. So, this is the elevator. And, and spiders. Yeah. Go ahead. Check the back. It's um. It's inspired by one of your builds. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Nice. The drop shoot. <laughs> yeah. Those work. I mean. The, some people like the magma column ones because they look nice, but the uh, it's so much faster just to drop through the air and land on water. Yeah, and it does no damage. Look inside, by the way. You also put seeds. <laughs> I just uh, lettered it out to say hi. <laughs> oh, I, I didn't actually look at the shape. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> I just thought it would be funny. You want to go into the AFK zone? Sure. Yeah, you, uh, after you. The duck. Ooh, that's dark. Five minutes recommended. You should uh, actually, you should put uh, one of those uh, stone pressure plate uh, piston uh, AFK machines up here. What is it? What? Oh, to to keep from DCing. Yeah. Ah, uh, I didn't think of that. Yeah, the elevators were. Uh, we're done after I already built some of the AFK zone. Yeah, this was originally a scaffolding uh, column. Right. And then it's like, I do not want to climb up this very slowly every time. Right. Or use my elytra to land in a very precarious manner. Oh, oh my gosh. Um, actually, let's uh, let's drop down. I'll show you. With the black uh, walls, that feels really fast. <laughs> yeah, I, I really like the deep slate tiles. So we are basically standing on the mob generator. And what then check that here? out. Got, oh gosh, creepers and skeletons. Yeah. Yeah, the risk is minimal, but I think I should probably claim this area just so uh, if in case the creeper does blow up, it doesn't mess up the bottom. Yeah. And chicken, yeah. apparently. Yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. Uh, the, the zombie, the chicken zombies. <laughs> What's crazy is I got one of those in my drowned farm. It was a dr baby drowned with a trident riding a chicken what, uh, that spawned I'm up in it. I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to happen. Yeah, I I took a picture of it. Um, but it just <laughs> I was like, wait, what? It looks like a like a chimney with an altar beneath it. Yeah, a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> Summoning the mobs. You could you could uh, put a bunch of the heads with like redstone powder on the ground on pikes all around it and really make it look like it's a uh, <laughs> place where all the, the mobs <laughs> are being sacrificed. Very cool. I was I was like, uh, if 
I was, I was, the reason I was asking was like, because some people like, if you built a raid farm, there's a chance there's like uh, vexes and. Uh, oh yeah, I uh, no, like, I don't, I don't mess with that. Are difficult, and it's like, oh, and those get out, and then, uh, all of that. It's like it's. Uh, uh, I would not wear my best stuff over to uh, <laughs> that way if I lost it or something. But yeah, that's all I had to show off, and I. Uh, I'm getting a little bit of a headache, so I'm going to hop off. Yeah, alrighty. See ya. All right, bye. So I was working yeah. on this on, um, I think it was Monday. Uh-huh. And um, I just now built this elevator here. This is a really pretty area to make a farm, though. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's right yeah. by the ocean. Yeah, it's great. All right, so this is the farm? Uh, yeah, if you want to go up the elevator, check the top. Dude, you actually made it out of like a pretty block. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I love uh, deep slate tile. Yeah, that looks really cool. Wee. And then I go up. Is there? An, oh, there's an exit only. Okay. Uh huh. Oh, there we go. Ele there we go. Ugh. Elevator to AFK zone. Oh, let's see. AFK zone five minute recommended. Once finished, drops here. You won't die. Should I trust you? Just kidding. I saw the chest. I know I won't die. <laughs> <laughs> so do we stand up here for five minutes, or should I just go on down? Uh, you can go on down if you want. The uh, the mobs, uh, you know, depending how many people are on the server, yeah, that's like a good to point. like to spawn pretty fast. Yeah, they do their little thing. They do their little thing. I'll give him a little bit. I'll, I'll check out the beautiful scenery. Yeah, you can't really see much from up here unless you have your your render distance turned way up and your fog off. Yeah, I guess so. I can see I can see some stuff though. I'm gonna jump down. There's even some exposed coal. Yeah, go ahead. Oh really? That's handy. Wee. Sploosh. All right. Sploosh. Sploosh. And then where do I go? Um. I don't actually have an elevator yet. So we jump. We have elytras, don't worry. Yeah, elytras are what's... Oh, and then do I just whack him? Yeah, whack him with a sword. Oh, this I do cool have this, um, this water pool down here. Oh, really? I, yeah, I put it a little too close to the edge, though. So um, when I showed Katstreen the farm, she missed. <laughs> <laughs> she had feather falling though that's good that's good yeah uh, this was actually um based on a tutorial that i found on youtube uh-huh but you like et modified it slightly um yeah I, I made it a little bit nicer i put an elevator on it instead of a um instead of just scaffolding yeah 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 well, that was a good idea. That makes it, makes it feel like it's quite fancy. Yeah, it made me kind of glad that uh, the the uh, tutorial called for more blocks than it required because then I had oh. the starting the starting blocks necessary to build the elevator. Yeah, that is actually quite helpful. If you fly some distance away from it with the elytra, I just ran out of rockets. Makes oh, there we go. I got some more. It kind of looks like a sword from the ground. It does look like a sword. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Yep, it does look like a... Oh, that, that's nice. That looks really cool, actually. Oh, I like that. I like yeah, that. I really like this thing. Yeah, it's a giant sword. Well, you did a good job with it, dude. Thanks. Oh, thanks for showing me. Hey, thanks for sticking around to the end. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a thumbs up and consider hitting that subscribe button, not just on my channel, but on all the Basement Craft Creator YouTube channels listed below. And don't forget to follow us on Twitch where all the action happens. Thanks again to Dad and Cat and Rusty for agreeing to come and look at the farm. It was really fun to show that off. And before I go, I want to say thank you guys for bringing this YouTube channel to 100 subscribers. You guys are amazing, and I'll have a 100 subscriber special up soon. So if you don't want to miss that, make sure you ring that bell icon and set it to all notifications. That's all for now. Bye-bye.